Okay, so I'm doing a video on um, fry bread. This is for Panamanian fry bread. It is for breakfast. Um, it is delicious. So the video is for my friends who would normally ask me, oh my God, how do you make this? Okay, this, this is for you. As always, I'm trying to keep the video short, so I'm gonna talk fast, be quick, hopefully. Um, you need two cups of regular flour. I have the great value one which any could work they have salt baking powder sugar vegetable oil I'm using olive oil it's too big to show <laughs> um, obviously you need the container you need to mix all of your dries first so it's two cups of flour it is one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of baking powder um, then you do three-fourths of a cup of water and you do two um, tablespoons of olive oil so once you mix the dry ingredients you kind of make a little hole here and you go ahead and just drop the oil um, I am I doubled my recipe so it looks like a lot but this should be half of this um, and that's why it looks like a lot but basically after you do this you just want to mix your stuff washing clothes so you can hear the washing machine um so you just mix it and then you continue with that little hole and you're gonna gradually add the water so um a little bit at a time obviously this is just me so it's gonna be a, a tough but you just want to add and it's gonna start getting sticky it's gonna get real sticky but the key to this is how much you can handle with the whole mixing and you basically just want one big ball you just want I'm, I'm just going to toss it all in there um, but you want one big ball Okay, so um, I like to work with gloves just because I hate stuff getting stuck to me and I think it's easier to just deal with the dough. Um, you basically just want to mix all ingredients and as of now you see it's kind of sticky. But you want one big ball of dough. It's kind of like if you was about to make pizza or something. But you have to continuously work with it that way. It kind of like starts getting how it's supposed to be because you're gonna stretch it out at the end so like this is no good you still have to go and this is the part that I hate but basically you just go like this you can punch it if you want to I mean you know angle management or anything you just go on and get to it um, I get my kids to help me and they love doing this stuff but you continuously to do this Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes of handwork with the dough. It's supposed to look somewhat like this, um, a big ball. It should be smaller because I have, I doubled the recipe. We are a family of five, so definitely it, this stuff basically gets it in all the way. But you wanna take a paper towel or whatever kitchen towel you have, wet it so that it's damped, and then you just wanna cover the dough like this, that way it doesn't dry up because if it dries up, it creates this kind of coat. Kind of like when you leave a chicken out or in the refrigerator and it just kind of gets hard and dry. Same way, so you don't want that to happen. You leave it for an hour and a half to two hours until the baking powder does what it needs to do and that way it can rise. It's because they're supposed to be fluffy. They're called hojaldres or hojaldas, depending on which area in Panama you know the person from, but those are the names that are used. Um, and like I said, these are for breakfast. I normally either leave it overnight 
or um, just a few hours put in a Ziploc bag okay so now you have your oil in your pan your frying pan or whichever this is my frying pot um, you take a little ball and you just stretch it out like bite-sized pieces this is what it should look like you want to make sure there's no holes some people like the holes in them and then you just throw it in there the oil is going to be really hot but the whole point of that is so that it can cook quickly and um, it's really up to however you want it it could be light like this or a little darker um, you want to have a plate with some paper towel to catch the oil obviously um, and so see how it floats up from the oil so technically about 30 seconds and then you can flip it to the other side for another 30 seconds because the oil is really hot.